If you are SQL Server DBA, you probably have set up all this on environment at some point. And if you did that, you must have come across this option where you can set readable secondaries to no, read intent only, or to yes. The last two options, read intent only and yes, are practically same for the most part. But then why there are two of them? Are people at Microsoft stupid to do that? Well, uh, I think that uh, it is very easy to assume people stupid rather than trying to understand why they're not. My name is Arvind and in today's video, let's try to understand why these two separate options are there. Okay, so here is my always on environment. I have replica A as primary and replica B as secondary. So I have set it up with the default values. So readable secondary is set to no. As we can see it here, it is set to no. Now in this first option, no, let's try to connect to secondary and see how it behaves. So we are connecting to B, which is secondary. Make sure that you are connecting to a database that is part of always on availability group because by default it connects to master and it will allow connections all the time irrespective of which options you are selecting. So I am connecting to adventure works which is part of always on availability group and hit connect. I'm getting an error. So we will come to this error later on what it says. For now, let's just take a screenshot and save it. So let's save it under the option when we set it the readable secondary to no. Now let's try to change the option and go with the option number two, which is read intent only. Now, whenever we make any change in the GUI, it is always a good idea to script it out so that we know the command and we can use it to do it quickly. Or if we have to do the same repetitive things many a times, or if we do have to do same thing on uh, more than one server, we can use the command. And also the command sometimes is more intuitive as we would see. So I'll just do it from the command and the command says ultra ability group, then the replica server name and then with the options it says change the secondary role to allow connections read only. Let me execute that. So now we have changed the readable secondary to read intent only. So with this option, read intent only, let's try to connect and see how it behaves. So replica B, make sure the database is part of all this on availability group and hit connect. Again, we are getting an error, but this time it seems a bit different. Let's take a screenshot of this and compare it with the first error that we got. So this was when we set it up to read intent only. The first error says the database is participating in an availability group and is currently not accessible for queries. So the database is not accepting any queries. You can change that and it also says at the end that alter availability group. An alter availability group is the command that we use to change it to read intent only that we just did. And when we did that, we are getting another error that says database in in an availability group is currently accessible for connections when the application intent is set to read only. So application intent is set to read only. So let's do that. Again, we would go to the connections and here in additional connection parameters, we would just need to type application intent equals to read only. If we do that and hit connect, voila, it is connected. If you go with the second option of readable secondary, that is read intent only, we have to specify in connection string mentioning application intent equals to read only. So let's try to understand the third option. And the third option is yes, let's 
set it to yes again let's try to connect let's leave this option as it is and if we hit connect it gets connected now let's remove this option and see if it connects or let's try read write okay it is connected and if we just remove this option we are not specifying application intent then also it connects so we can summarize that if we set readable secondary to no it will not allow any connections if we set it to yes it will allow all the connections and if we set it to read intent only it will allow connections only when we set application intent equals to read only in connection string if we do not specify it or if we specify read write then it will not connect all right so let's understand these three options with a real world analogy suppose i am making a rule who can enter into my house so i can say no no one can enter into my house i'm an introvert i don't like to see people <laughs> or i can say yes everyone can enter into my house for obvious reasons it's a terrible idea but yeah it's an option to understand third option let's assume that people are still very honest about themselves and if they say they are good guy they are actually good guys so i can make a rule that if someone says they are a good guy they are allowed if they don't say anything or if they say they are bad guys they're not allowed again this rule is only to specify who can enter the house not about what they can do afterwards so of course it's my house they can't do anything they can take a look at my lovely ktm motorcycle but they cannot start it same is the case with sql server these readable secondary options these three options no read intent only and yes they only dictate if and how the connections to secondary would be allowed it does not specify what they can do after making connections because we know that in a scale server the secondary replica can only accept read connections no writes are allowed so when this read intent only option can be useful well to understand that we have to take a look at another option so if you go to again availability group properties we have this readable secondary option and right before that we have another option that says connections in primary role so here we have two options the default is allow all the connection which will allow all type of connections read only or read write both the second option says allow read write connections so if we go with this one then it will allow only the connections which specify application intent equals to read write if it says application intent equal to read only it will not allow on the primary and uh, if we do not specify that is an exceptional case that we got to discuss okay so make sure whatever changes you make to one replica server it should be the same with the other one so here i am going with allow read write connections i would choose the same for the other replica and here i want to go with read intent only and i'll again choose the same for the other replica now you could have a third replica where it is uh, situated in disaster recovery for that one you can leave the default options because uh, it's a dr dr replica in asynchronous commit mode so only in case of disaster you would manually fail over to it and it would probably be the only live replica at the time or even there are more than one you may want to set these options manually but for all the replicas which are participating in automatic failover right here in my case both a and b they are in synchronous commit mode and they are participating in automatic failover this option should be same so allow read write connections here for both and read intent only for readable secondary again for both the replicas so by selecting allow read write connections on primary and read intent only connections on secondary we are separating the workloads we are we are channeling the read write workload to the primary 
and we are channeling the read only connections to the secondary. So we are separating the workload and we are making most of our always on environment. So that's why this read intent only option can be useful. Now we were discussing about this exception. So suppose there's a read query, but in the connection string, it is not specified that application intent is what? It's not mentioned. So it's a read query. It will not go to the secondary because remember on the secondary, we have set it to read intent only and read intent is not specified. So it will not go to the secondary. It will go to the primary. Even if we have set it up to read write connections, but remember, even if we set it to read write connection, if the application intent is not specified, all the kind of connections would be allowed. So it's a read query. It should go to the secondary, but it is going to primary. Now as a DBA, you have power to set up your SQL server the way you want, but you don't have power to convince people to add this application intent parameter in their, con in their connection string. To deal with this situation, we need to understand read only routing. And that could be a topic for another day. So if you encourage me by subscribing to this channel, I'll probably make a video on that one too. For now, I hope I helped you understanding these allow connection options for primary and secondary and always on. And if I did then, please hit the like button. If I didn't, please hit the dislike. Please also share this video with your DBA friends who you think would like it. And I'll probably see you in the next one. Take care.